What is going on guys? Hope you are well. Another video. Talk with Tyler. Um, yeah, so hope you guys are well. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about a few subjects. So we had some more earnings come out today after market close. I know one of my companies that I own, Dropbox, came out today, reported earnings. We'll talk about that a little bit. We'll talk about what's going on right now currently with the Tesla hype. We're going to talk about, you know, talk about AMC. That hasn't been discussed much lately. We'll, we'll go over some AMC stuff. And yeah, we'll just kind of go through and talk about some drama in the overall market right now. Kind of talk about anything that I'm doing right now in the market. If you like this video, if you guys can hit the thumbs up for me, I would greatly appreciate it. This is a new channel, so all the love is much appreciated. That's all I ask from you guys. And uh, yeah, so let's hop in this video. So first, let's start Let's start with Dropbox earnings. So I know there's a few other earnings that came out. I'm not going to make this video an earnings video. I will do a video later, maybe this weekend, um, to kind of go over some, some numbers on companies that have reported Q3 earnings. But in this video, I did just want to touch on Dropbox a little bit. Dropbox, Dropbox has been a very um, interesting, to say the least, company. It's a company that I put in my portfolio, didn't expect much from it. It's kind of a boring company. Um, it's solid. It's a really good company. They've had great, you know, good numbers. Their user, you know, base has been consistently growing. CEOs on the on the board of Facebook or was on the board of Facebook. Um, and it was just a safety play for me when I went, went and bought Dropbox. I mean, it was a it was a safe stock for me. I bought it around $20 a share. They came out today, had earnings. They beat on EPS. They beat on revenue um, from what analysts were projecting. And I haven't looked at it in the last hour, but when I did look at it, it looked like the stock was going down in the after hours. It looked like it was down about 2 or 3%. Now, what are my thoughts on this? Well, I mean, for this year, I've literally not paid attention to the market looking at earnings at all. Everything that I've bought this year, I, I look at the earnings. I know what the earnings mean. But the stock market has not, you can get frustrated this year if your, your stock isn't going up based on earnings coming in good. Because the whole market this year has been based on that. The whole, the whole market this year, I mean, you can go through company after company after company that's reported great earnings. Now, Dropbox didn't have killer earnings, but they did beat. And I mean, that stock's still going down. And that's just kind of been the, um, you know, the play that's been going on pretty much with every stock this year. So, you know, it's going to be interesting Q3. Like I said, I made a video the other day. Coinbase is coming out on the 11th. I'm going to be watching Coinbase's earnings. I'm watching the Planet's earnings. Um... We have Tattoo Chef's earnings coming in. I will be interested in to see those. We saw Revolve's earnings come out the other day. I can make a video later in that. That stock, you know, didn't react well, and their earnings weren't bad. So, you know, I don't know. We'll have to see how it plays out. Right now, I haven't bought any, I haven't bought any positions today. Um, Tesla stock. Tesla stock, very interesting right now. It's holding at 1,200. Um, this stock still has some some run in it, in my opinion. Um, if you're a long-term investor, you know, you have to make that decision. If you think it's in your best interest to sell right now, personally, I don't have a reason to sell. I have the stock. I did really good on the stock. I didn't think it was going to run as much as it has. But I don't have any reason to sell the stock. I definitely don't have a reason to sell that stock under a year, you know, I know if I can hold that stock for at least a year, I'm going to get a better tax credit on that. So, you know, I'd rather pay 15% tax on that stock um, than, you know, normal capital gains. But we we'll have to see with Tesla. I mean, there's still a lot of opportunity in Tesla. There's still a lot of room to grow. Um, the, the, the revenue, everything that their earnings report came out was really good. You know, that was another stock that really didn't start to move, but all of a sudden it just you cranked up. So, 
that one's interesting. You know, AMC, AMC stock has got really quiet. You know, I feel like, you know, meme stocks, or that's what they were called this year, you know, GameStop, AMC. I'm not saying there's not another run, so all, you know, everybody calm down. I don't think there's, you know, I'm not saying there ain't going to be another run. But um, I'm just saying it's got quiet, right? They had their, their 2021 year. It was definitely a year all on AMC, all on GameStop. It's pretty much what this whole entire year's been based on. But it's got quiet, you know, volume shriveled up. You're seeing more, you know, money move over to cryptos now. Cryptos have kind of started to take the wheel. We're still seeing Bitcoin and Ethereum holding close to their record highs. So, you know, you can't ignore what's going on, right? You, you, I think anybody can, like, nobody can make an argument that AMC, the valuation didn't even come close to making sense. You know, this has been a play on a movement. Right, it's been the stock going up's been based on a movement, you know, that people's been, you know, holding the stock to hurt hedge funds. And eventually, you know, like any other thing, it, it starts to get, you know, people start to move on a little bit. And that's kind of what's happening there. You know, I'm not saying it can't make a, a rerun of something in 2022. I personally don't see it doing much for the rest of the year. But um, we'll just have to see there. So, I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on. We still got a lot of um, a lot of interesting details going on right now in the market. You know, everybody's waiting. I mean, we got a lot of earnings coming out right now. That's kind of the headline. We have Q3. You know, I'm already, and Q3, I'm really not concerned about. Like, Q3, Q3 earnings to me is kind of like, uh, eh, I'm not expecting much. Because I know that even if, for instance, Coinbase, one of my big holdings, if it comes out at Q3, and let's say it beats, stock's probably still going to go down or, you know, at least stay even. Um, but if a stock comes in and misses, oh, I mean, the stock's going to be down 10%. Now, maybe not so much since Bitcoin's sitting over 60000 and Ethereum's over 4500 but I know what's going to come with this. It doesn't mean the company's not good. It doesn't mean, you know, the valuation's off. Just like the planet. I know I know that right now with the planet sitting at $3.80, I know that if they come out with their earnings and the Orange County location isn't doing well, I know that if the numbers, which I'm not really expecting the numbers to be that good at the Orange County location. I mean, this, this location just opened in July. So, you know... I, I, I want to see the Las Vegas numbers do well, and I don't think there's any reason for those numbers not to do well, you know, but as far as the Orange County location, I'm not expecting them to blow revenues out of the water. I want to see what, what's being spent on marketing. I want to hear what, um, what they're doing to expand the company. I want to see what their forecast is for 2022. I want to see what licenses they're securing. I know right now they've secured their license in Chicago. I know they've secured their license in Florida. You know, these are things because I'm not trying to be a month ahead of planet. I'm trying to be three years ahead of planet. So, and on top of that, you know, it's in a space that there's a lot of regulation in. Now it's slowly opening up and everybody's betting on legalization and all that stuff going on. But, you know, there is no guarantee and there is no guarantee of a, of a time frame that that will happen. So you got to understand that as an investor. Sometimes, sometimes you have to be patient and allow the price to come to realization. The biggest thing people can do is get frustrated that, you know, the stock market isn't recognized. Like, you got to understand, these are growth companies. Planet 13 is a growth company, meaning... They're not making profits right now, and they have to grow, which takes time. You can't just go open 20 locations in five months. So as an investor, you gotta think three years down the road from now, what if, if the company can continue to execute? Now I pay attention, I pay attention to the balance sheet. I pay attention to what the revenues are. I pay attention to what their cash on cash is. Like, I mean, you gotta, you know, those are business things that I keep my eye on to make sure the company's like, you know, executing. But if if they're doing all of that and the company's doing it, they said they were going to open up their Orange County location in July. 
They opened the Orange County location in July. You know, they, they, they have $100 million plus on the balance sheet. You know, they're sitting with around $20 million in debt. Very, he very healthy balance sheet. You know, they're, they, they have, they're the, have the largest dispensary in the United States of America. Their name brand is getting more and more recognition, but it doesn't happen in one year. You're going to have to be patient, you know, and sometimes maybe it does happen in a year, but the level of impatience that I see with people trying to get in and out, in and out, in and out. Sometimes you miss the big money. That's what people don't realize. Like you'll take, I see it time and time again. You'll see people take a 20%, 30% gain, you know, and they're like, oh, I made gains and you know, that's you. Like I have no problem with that. Like that's what you want to do. But you gotta understand, sometimes the big money, if the company's doing what they're what they're supposed to do, if the valuation is in line and there's a lot of growth potential, why would you sell the stock just because it goes up 20 or 30 percent? What's to say it doesn't go up 300 percent? What's it to say it doesn't go up a thousand percent? I've seen people sell a stock that goes up 100, 200 percent. And they miss a stock that goes up 2,000%. Now, obviously, you're not going to be able to time the highs. But my art, my thing is just don't sell a company because you make money. You need to sell a company because you either think the valuation is rich. You think you're not, you know, you're seeing something that you're, you're not super happy about. Maybe the CEO is doing things that you're not, you know, super into. Um, maybe there's a CEO change. Maybe there's debt being took out to buy businesses that you're, you don't understand. Uh, there, should be a, there should be a lot of reasons to sell a company, but the, the number one reason you shouldn't sell a company is just because the price goes up or the price goes down. So I don't get too, I'm not getting too wrapped up in Q3 earnings. I will, I will talk about them. I will go over the numbers because I know people want to see it. They want to, you know, have somebody break those down. So I will do that when they, when companies that I own that's bigger come out, I will do a Coinbase um, earnings video. I'll do a, I'll probably do a Tattoo Chef earnings video. I know a lot of people are going to do a Tattoo Chef video, but I'll still do it probably anyways. And I'll do a Planet 13 earnings video. Those are the three that I'll probably do. If you want me to do another one, just let me know. Drop a comment. Let me know if there's a stock that you want me to do. Um, but yeah, guys, I mean, I'm already kind of looking at Q4. I'm not getting wrapped in in Q3. There's still a lot of drama right now, a lot of stuff that can go wrong. Um, you know, but so far, the earnings haven't been bad. So, you know, the stock's some stocks are doing better than others, but I mean, for the overall year, I haven't seen that many companies report that bad of numbers. You know, Corsair Gaming came out. Their numbers weren't the greatest, but we all knew. You, they already had pre-numbers sent out, and, you know, we're dealing with supply issues still. Doesn't mean the stock's bad. Just means it's going to take some time to get that stock back on track. So, you know, there's a patience measure to this. But, you know... I don't know, to each its own. I know there's traders out there and I'm not against trading. That's a whole nother strategy. I, like I said, my investing strategies are 12 months to five year horizons. That's generally what I'm looking at. Now, if I put my money in a stock, it goes up a lot and I think it's just, you know, something that got pumped up, then okay, I'll take my money and, you know, have a good day. But I never go buy a stock for the most part that, you know, I'm not going to be keeping for a while unless I'm seeing some type of trend or I see something that is off that I feel like I can, you know, take advantage of. But, you know, that's kind of, that's my thoughts on what everything is right now. Like I said, don't get too wrapped up in Q3s. Don't get too bent out of shape if your companies are beating earnings and the stock price isn't moving. Um, you know, if, whether you're a Tesla bull or a Tesla bear, you know, Stick to whatever your reasons are. Don't get lost in the sauce. There's a million people out here saying buy Tesla. There's a million people out here saying don't buy Tesla. I'm a Tesla shareholder. I can, I'll continue being a Tesla shareholder. I have no um, rush to sell the stock. AMC, you know, we'll have to see what happens with them. Um, you know, the hype right now has died. We'll see if maybe something happens in 2022 that will cause the hype to go up. But 
I don't know. We'll see. But either way, guys, I'll keep you posted. I'll let you know, you know what I'm doing in the market. Like I said, if you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know. And again, if there's any stocks, anything in particular you want me to break down in these videos, I'll be glad to. I'm probably going to start doing more like finance-based videos on, you know, how to, um, you know, get to certain numbers or, you know, maybe how to budget, whatever. Start going into more personal finance type videos mixed with stocks. Stocks is what I like talking about. It's easier for me to talk about, but I feel like rap and personal finance in with it's important. So I don't know, but we'll see. Either way, guys, I will be posting another video tomorrow for you guys. I'll keep you posted, and I appreciate you. Peace out.